sorry. That should not have been recorded. <laughs> I forgot we were rolling. Welcome back to the Jordan Jones podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Jones, and today we have my bestie, Autumn hey. Miller. Hey, guys. You guys, anytime people see us posting together, they're like, that's my child. Literally, though. Like, Autumn, if you guys don't know, she is like the dancing queen. I think that when people think of dancers that did it back then doing it now you're probably one of the first people that come to mind for most people yeah. you've done it all she's touring she's been on were you on like so you think you can dance i like, didn't do so you think you can dance okay but what el what else did you do i've just from a young age i've just been obviously dancing a yeah. lot and i'm touring now and i've yes. been in music videos and i did print jobs and things like that i really haven't actually been on a tv show though so that's like what? something or like a dance show or anything like that i haven't done did you do the justin bieber tour or no no i didn't because i was thinking about it the other day that i didn't do it and i was no. like all these other people did, did it and i was like where were we? Yeah, we I know. What, to do that. what the heck happened to that? But it's like we've done so much. Yeah. But the two things I thought that we would have done was like, What's so you that? think, and that? Justin Bieber. Yeah, well, I guess let's take it back. <laughs> literally. So before we really jump into all of your questions, my questions, we really have to throw it back to where we met. <laughs> Guys, because Guys. when I was thinking about it, I thought we met somewhere yeah. crazy years ago but no i used to be in this girl group called five little oh, princesses gosh. help please and send help. i believe we went into it at the same time no i think you were already a part of it because you that, that was, was kind of your world okay okay me too <laughs> <laughs> guys because did they come at you by saying it was a nickelodeon yes, tv show yes something of the sort that didn't have to be involved with you know <laughs> singing oh yes <laughs> You know, singing. Yes. So I got this audition one day and it was so big. It was a big deal. It was Nickelodeon. Yeah. We're going to be a TV show. They're Dance, looking for five girls. Things. Yeah. It's dancing. And I was like, okay, like, let's go. Come to find out it has nothing to do with Nickelodeon. No, not at ever. All. I was in this group for like three years, maybe. And yes, when it started, they were auditioning new girls i think there was like three already in it and so i remember being at millennium yep in like the was. upstairs room or something yeah, and like me and autumn are just auditioning <laughs> battling it out singing it's, yeah that that's where it really got me because they <laughs> did not inform me about the singing situation Can because you sing? no not at all <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to hear me try to lip sync like it's terrible <laughs> when they told me that there was singing involved i was like I think you called the wrong person. Like, they, this isn't for me. Obviously, dance, great. And they really did try to get me to sing. Yeah, I got into rapping because of that group. Because I could not sing. And they were like, well, what are we going to do with this girl? <laughs> and that I didn't fun. even make it at this point. I was out, just so you guys know. <laughs> which I could not sing. So I totally respect it. And I was like, it's fine. Like, there's yeah. no singing for me. You're like, honestly, thank I'm, you. Honestly, please. Like, that probably would have ruined my career. I'm out. I would have ruined I'm out. Imagine me singing. Like, please just imagine. What was the song, though? Well, I mean, I heard you next to me at the Olivia Rodrigo concert. <laughs> just kidding. Exactly, okay? That's screaming. And I was screaming, and that's probably how I sing. If you want me to sing for you, I just might like, just scream. What's the word? Like, belting? Yeah, belting. Yeah. You're but, good at that. Um, Great. Scream belting. Got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just uh, ruining your vocal cords. Absolutely. <laughs> thousand percent. I mean, at Olivia Rodrigo, I mean, come on. You're going to ruin your voice. You guys, best night it of our life. It was the best night of our life also. I really wanted to go back the next night. Me too. And we didn't get to go. <sighs> Honestly. We're heartbroken. So a couple months ago when Autumn and I got really close, we were bonding over that, like her songs, songs and Olivia and Rodrigo. And I was, like, the car. I was like, please, will you come with me? Like no one else Wants wanted to, to go. go. Yeah, Autumn, we went. We and through. guys, we literally <laughs> spent $1,400 on, on tickets. tickets. <laughs> and the night of the concert, two hours before, yeah. my friend's like, oh, wait, you're going to the Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> concert? I would love to. I just got invited to come. And I was like, oh, what brand? And she told me the brand and I was like, I'd want to go. But like, yeah. can you ask for me and Autumn? <laughs> I think she was the only one getting invited and there was no such thing as plus one. And I was like, 
please, please, ask. two of us, two, two of us, two, we'll do it. <laughs> and then she was like, "What's her? What's your friend's Instagram? Because it's a brand. Obviously, yeah. they just want followers." Yeah. And she was like, I told the brand that you guys got millions. <laughs> and we got it. Hey, we got it to work. <laughs> but but the sad part of it was that we had to sell our tickets that we got for $1,400 when the tickets came out. <laughs> and we got back 260 <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, it's fine. It's that's, fine. That's how we spend our money, guys. Yes. So. But, I mean, the club and the sprinter there and yeah, so all of that imagine was all worth that it. Money. Exactly. $1,400. I, I would have spent 700 to do what we did. Exactly, 1000 But I wouldn't have spent 700 for that no, nosebleed no. that we had. <laughs> yeah, guys, we actually had nosebleeds. Yeah, <laughs> but we got I, some good seats. I left time. that part out. The 1400 was nose 10 bleeds. rows from the back. Like, come on. God. That's crazy. Also, if you hear giggling or comments, we have Presley. <laughs> Hi, guys. She's in the back. I'm... She's scared to be on camera today, but she's going to be back, right? Yeah, I will be back. I'm off camera as we did, in fact, just come from a workout. <laughs> Can't tell when you look at Autumn, did. but you can tell when you look at me. <laughs> so that's why I'm not on camera today. No. Um, yeah, I'll be back, but... <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Okay, yes. Uh -oh. So we're going to get back into these questions. What's this, uh, what's this iPad password again? Okay, Autumn. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, go. How was growing up with such a public life at such a young age? Yeah, I feel like obviously you can relate to me as well. Mm -hmm. And for me, I also was still trying to balance like being at a full-time dance studio as well, I think. And it was really hard, but I wouldn't change it for anything. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we forget that you have to make those sacrifices at a young age to be where you are now. And I yeah. never understood that when I was little, like not having the sleepovers with your friends, not going to all the like fun high school parties, anything yeah. like that or football games. Yeah, like I definitely never had a Friday night football <laughs> game. I was training in the studio and I put in a lot of time into dance. Yeah. Obviously YouTube as well. I started at that time, but I was still training 40 hours a week in the studio. I didn't really realize how much that it would take out on you and burnout mm -hmm. and all these things. And it is so hard sharing your life as well on social media because everyone's judging what you do 24 seven. And at that age, yeah. I was just like so excited to dance and be in the studio I didn't even understand and that's kind of when Instagram even became popular and I was like what is this app why are yeah. these you know everyone's saying oh something bad and then something good and so I think my parents did a really great job though of also keeping me a little sheltered because I wasn't really yeah. exposed to all of that and I give so much credit to them because I do think the way that they raised me is why I am and how I am today with growing up with mm -hmm. a following. And I think the best part of keeping you just not yeah. very LA is yeah. that you do live like in OC. Yeah, you're do. not out here. Even no. when you come up for dance or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, you're driving there and back. Yeah. And obviously sometimes staying at yeah, people's places or doing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I think that's why like we bond so well yeah. is because we're both not very no, LA or we aren't. like maybe it is because we were so sheltered. Yeah. So I know, as yeah, kids. that's the word, but yeah. you know what I mean. I just It's like we, we don't still don't want to do right, any of that. <laughs> right, we don't. And I think we just have had this really great mindset growing up and I yeah. think I've been around a lot of positive people and people with really great mm -hmm. um advice twenty four seven and I feel like that mm -hmm. also is why I am who I am now and like yeah. being able to be you know under those people or people that you look up to yeah. really I do think shows who you are now who you grow up with or who your friends are is really also what you attract and who you are you yeah know? exactly and another thing that I always think is good about us <laughs> yeah. is like when we were growing up doing all of this we actually wanted to exactly and so I think a difference is when some parents are quote unquote sheltering their kids yeah it's like their kids want to be going out and yeah. sneaking out and drinking and yeah. it's like they're holding them I agree away but yeah. we didn't care like no. we liked that yeah <laughs> if our mom was like oh the door's open tonight feel free yeah. to go out yeah we'd be like no like yeah I'd well, rather not, not. yeah exactly <laughs> 
exactly. No, I think that is so right. And I think what's hard is we also kind of were brought up in it naturally mm-hmm. and it was never forced for either of us or especially for me. It just it kind of happened overnight and I didn't really expect it that way. And sometimes now I feel like it is so forced or it's you're trying to be something instead of just being yourself. And that's yeah. where you're going wrong, because when you're being yourself so much, so much better things happen or everything just comes naturally. And I feel like that's also how I am. People are always like oh like you are just so normal and down to earth and I'm like yeah because I'm just me I'm not trying to be something else yeah or prove to anyone because it's just me there's no one to prove to and I think that's um like a big part yeah especially this summer I feel like you've been very busy touring Mm -hmm. and we will get into all of that <laughs> but what is something that you like to do in your free time while you're not touring oh so back in LA I'd yeah say. I guess back home honestly I'm such like a routine girl so I feel like being able to be back in my routine going to the gym working out honestly yeah. matcha dates with Jordan are always a plus yes. um but yeah I love the beach I love shopping and I'm a big family girl so I've been spending a lot of time with also my little cousins and just being able mm-hmm. to be around family especially Especially when I am gone for a long time because I I definitely was gone a long a long time this summer so I've just really enjoyed being home and kind of doing nothing for once like I feel like I'm a very go 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 so much to do so being able to also be calm and be like hey you can take the day off it's okay yeah has been really nice and I know that you love aloe I do I went with her you guys (laughs) it was so hard Laura right yeah she is Pilates Pilates girl she's a Pilates queen (laughs) and we did the cold plunge we did the cold plunge that place is crazy. That place is yeah, so it's awesome. big. You can literally get <laughs> lost there. Yeah, no, seriously. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. Is it challenging finding or keeping a relationship while living such a busy, li- busy lifestyle? <laughs> what do you have to say about um, that? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, it's it's definitely difficult. Uh, this is a hard topic for me a little bit, but uh, this is my first time currently single in six years. So for my last six years of my life, I have actually put up with a relationship as well as being as busy as I Which- am has been wonderful. It's good. Yeah. And that's why I feel like you're so you're going to be so good at giving the people advice on this cuz yeah, you've done it for course. so long. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I think it's it is a really big balance and it has been a challenge and yeah. I would say nobody's perfect and everyone goes through ups and downs and I think it's hard because we see these relationships or things on social media and they seem so perfect mm-hmm. and really sometimes they're not that perfect. You're always going to have those ups and downs and for me I felt that in both of my relationships that I've been in Mm -hmm. um, there was so many positives but there was also really hard challenges and I felt that sometimes I was always up for the challenge and maybe my partner struggled a little bit more with those challenges or with me being gone or my lifestyle just the way it is you know your Mm -hmm. partner has to step up to that plate with you and I felt that And be supportive as well. Exactly. And I think sometimes that is hard and everyone's doing their own thing and different careers and especially being a public figure or, you know, on social media. It's it that takes is a lot. really hard. Yeah, it takes a also. lot to be the guy. It does a thousand percent. And I think it's hard because for me, my best advice was always I didn't think about it like that. I yeah. always wanted to post my partners on social media mm-hmm. and I still have stuff posted with my partners I'm never gonna delete that that was like Mm -hmm. something that happened in my life and I think that that's what's also really special I love those times in my life and yes of course it's really sad that those relationships are over but I think sometimes everything becomes ugly or whatever but maybe it's just time for those two people to separate and go their own ways and I wish nothing but the best for every single partner and I think we always look for something that's wrong instead of actually looking back and being like wow, it was such a blessing and I had all these amazing things. And that is a maturity thing too. It is a thousand percent. And the only thing I wish for everyone is in relationships is just like, 
finding that and finding your own confidence because I think what happens is either your partner is really confident and the other partner isn't. You have to both be confident and believe in each other and believe in Mm -hmm. your relationship to make it work because I think that's like the only way you survive is if you're trusting your partner, all of those things. Yeah. While being gone, being on social media, like it's a lot. Trust is everything. It's literally your best friend. But yeah, that's that's a good question there. But you know, it's it's good we can get into this or we don't have to okay but how how was your last breakup i feel like i want you to kind of speak about this because of what you were doing in that time and how it was one of the biggest times in your life Mm -hmm. but also probably your lowest yeah so i don't know if you want to step into it at all or like how that week looked like to Mm -hmm. you but if you want to jump into that, go for it. Say what you I'll want. Give, I'll just give like a little brief. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I've been in, I was in a really serious relationship and two serious relationships. But yeah, the most recent one happened while I was actually on tour. So it was definitely a little bit of a shock, you know, yeah. leaving in a relationship and coming home without a relationship was really hard. Um, and now I look back at it and I do think that Maybe it is for the best and that yeah. we were, you know, whatever we were. But it was definitely something that I didn't expect. And so I think that's why for me it was like so hard. But at the same time, I knew that I was in the right place. I knew where I was supposed to be. I was loving to her and I yep. was doing all the shows and my career was thriving. And it was the first time that I felt that I was really just actually doing something for me and not someone else. And I just I remember being in that moment being like, this is happening for a reason whether it's the worst moment right now and i'm sobbing my eyes out before i'm about to go perform a two-hour show and no one in this room knows but i knew that i was so strong and that i could do it and i think this just taught me how strong i am and i think it just showed me how much i'm worth and that i deserve so much in this world that like that moment for me, as much as that sucked, like it really did. Yeah. I was like, I know, like, just knowing, like, oh my Mm -hmm. God, I literally could cry. Like, knowing (laughs) everything, like, about you. And, oh my God, literally, I have tears in my eyes. Yeah, me too. It's okay. Oh, I just, I just bet that that was just like, in the time change. Yeah. It was just, it was nothing you could ever, like, even expect or put into words because I, I don't know. It, it was, yeah, it was an experience that I look back on, though, and I'm just, like, so proud of myself because I could have every day on that tour cried and not had any fun yep. and been sat in my room. But I was like, I am so much more than this. Like, no guy is going to ruin my life, you know? No guy is going to make it. <laughs> Presley's clapping back there. <laughs> yeah, and I just was like... I do. I like. And I, I have, look at her. The guys. issue is, is I have no <laughs> ounce of like bad in me, and yeah. I think that's what's also hard. Is like I same. Like I never don't like somebody. Yeah, you like can't you hate know, it. like I don't <laughs> hate you. Like I yeah, really like, don't. Like I love you. Yeah, I just, like no, I don't. <laughs> but I just is like I. I just I don't know and. I think it's just hard. Like when you are put in those positions, like for instance, we were friends before, so I'm going to love him forever. Like I do genuinely wish the best for him. Like Mm -hmm. I want everything for him probably more than he wants it for himself. And like I tried to remind myself that while we were breaking up because I was just like to know you is to love you. And like that was just something that like for me all hold on to like, you know this bro broke her heart <laughs> yeah. on she's board, still, like, like, she's still <laughs> sitting here just yep. loving like or like supporting him oh yeah. you're such a good person autumn <laughs> yeah such oh a good God, please okay <laughs> we are okay. <laughs> end of conversation <laughs> bye moving on i was moving like on. we can talk about this or we can't cry so yeah can't cry it's, it's fine Woo. i think it's really important to share because i bet there's so many people that also yeah. go through these things and I honestly was long nervous. Long distance in college oh, yeah, and everything. Like, oh, oh gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me to do long distance. Ever. Sorry, I'm no. looking for no one. That's long distance, just by the way. <laughs> All right. We have another one of tour types of questions. This person said, what was it like performing at Coachella and why are you not on the full Renaissance tour? Okay, okay. So we have a two and then it's... Part of questions. Okay. So I performing at Coachella, I think was one of the 
most crazy but also best experiences ever i had never been to coachella so i had no idea what to expect <laughs> actually um but it was so much fun and currently i'm touring with jay balvin and we started off with coachella first as our first performance so i was really nervous because that was <laughs> the first time we were doing the show and i was like please just pull it together like let's just hope it happens and all is gonna be well and it was just really fun and it was a great group of people and he's mm -hmm. an amazing boss and it was just Love really that. cool like it just was like I couldn't say anything like bad about Coachella I mean it was really hot but like yeah. it was still great and we just got to perform and in front of that many people was definitely nerve-wracking I was like just pull through just and it was live streamed and all of that so that also like made me a little nervous but other than that you're like that set me up like I'm yeah. fine everything after that no seriously Go smoothly we're good i'm not gonna lie after that i was like okay wait going on tour is fine now like yeah. i'm not as nervous because it's not as big arenas and that's stuff, good you're like let me just yeah. test it out at coachella but, yeah it was so <laughs> fun because it was also outdoors and yeah. not all the venues that we get to do are outdoors and i think that's like actually one of my favorite things is doing festivals and stuff outdoors yeah. the energy that the people bring to and the screaming and, oh, and yeah. i don't know it's just so much fun that way and then the renaissance okay question. so i actually had auditioned back in uh i don't even know when it was who knows what month, April, May or something before the tour. I got like the private private audition and it was really cool. And it was like a small amount of girls and boys. And I just was remembering that this was like the biggest step. I was like, no way I'm getting to audition for her. Like she's my dream artist to ever work for. And I told oh, myself yeah. that if I ever got the opportunity, like I made it in my career. Like I just remember saying that when I was little because I never wanted to go on tour. I'm such a home and family person. I yeah. never wanted to leave. But yeah, so I made it down to like the very end, but you know, they went with other people, which I was one of the youngest. So I kind of assumed they were going to go for older people anyways, yeah. but whatever. I was still so proud of myself throughout like the whole process and I didn't hear anything and they did Europe and all of that. And then oh. I got a call and they were like, hey, like, are you free for the next two months? And I was, uh, uh. I remember I was sitting at the beach with my ex-boyfriend and I remember I, yeah, that. Yeah, and I Wasn't, was like, wait, sorry, weren't they like tomorrow or something? Yeah, 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 oh tomorrow. My God. And I'm laying there and I'm like, oh my god, I have to. Go. Uh, what 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 do I say? And at this time, I had already signed a contract onto a different tour with someone else, and I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And I just remember like panicking and crying, and then I was fighting with him, and I was like, what do I do? And he's like. I don't know like it's your life and I was like I just can't do it like I can't leave tomorrow <laughs> and I'm starting to sob and like it was a whole disaster and that, that and is then, very stressful for anybody and then I was honestly straight up honest with them and I was like hey I have this contract that I've already signed like what do you guys need like do you need a swing kind of whatever and you know swing means that you're not gonna perform you don't know if you're gonna perform mm -hmm. a swing is like a backup pretty much I don't know if I should take a position where I don't know if I'll get to perform when I already am like fully in True. a show you know so then they kind of like took that and went back and I was like I just ruined my opportunity like whatever I was so scared and then they came back and they were like will take you for as long as you can and then you can go on your other tour as well. And I was wow. like, oh my gosh. And they're like, you're getting on a red eye tomorrow. I will never forget these moments. Like I'm crying, I'm like running around. I've never packed for a tour in my life, never been on a tour bus. So I'm just like, all right, here we go. Like um, Stevie, she preps for weeks. weeks. Yeah, no, weeks. Yeah, now I prep for weeks. Like, <laughs> but back then I didn't and I just went with an open mind of no idea what was gonna happen. And wow. so I pretty much was just a backup and I was learning things. I did some rehearsal with dance captain and they had a choreographer as well. And then I just kind of went in and some girls were injured or whatever may have happened in like the situation. I didn't like really know. I just came in as like yeah. help pretty much, yeah. um, just as backup. So then I got to learn and then I got to go in for people and I got to just literally be on her tour for about, a month and a half, I think it was almost maybe 15 ish shows or something. But wow. it was literally like life changing. And I think that was also a huge moment because so many other people saw me in a big light. Viral on Twitter. Yeah, too. Viral. Everyone was like, well, they were like, who's, they were like, who's the new dancer, you know? And so I think that was really cool too. And I was so like nervous and I was so proud of myself because I did have to learn literally mm -hmm. in days and just perform for the biggest artist in the whole entire world. I was like, girl, what? Are you crazy right now? But yeah, I, it was so fun. Yeah, I'm so proud of you too. Like, Thanks. oh my gosh, just like growing up no with more you tears, and like please. knowing, I know, like knowing mm -hmm. the whole like Beyonce. Yeah. And obviously, she's just an icon. And now you're just on another tour, like right after. Like, yeah. Oh, so amazing. 
Audie. Okay. Oh, Audie. Now She's we so have funny. some, I would say, more lighthearted. Okay. We're going to okay, end it okay, off. Okay, lighthearted. We can do, free. we'll try to make this a little bit more of a fire round. Okay, we don't have so to go. I can't go deep. They just tell me to be quiet and be like, one answer. I'll just one word. completely cut you off. We'll okay, just perfect. turn her mic it's off. It's fine. Yeah, please. That's good. Okay. <laughs> what is your love languages? Oh, love language? I would say words of affirmation, 100%, and probably acts of service. I would probably not have to agree. <laughs> no, I would I'm like, wait, my mic already needs to go off because I'm just like. Yeah, you <laughs> just said <laughs> I could have fast answers. So my answer I was think, fast. <laughs> I think words of affirmation and quality time. Yeah. But my boyfriend does a lot of acts of service. That's and I feel like maybe like if he like didn't, didn't then I would that's be what like, you would wait. Yeah. So like and every guy that is, is so like different. on lock. Like yeah. he is, you know, he's okay. washing my car. He's like See, needing that. Okay. So if you want to come that. wash my car, please pull up. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, I, I love words of affirmation. Yeah. Cause I love giving. Me too. That. Well, I also just somehow always spoil you with gifts. So if you want like We're a package randomly, just let me know. <laughs> yeah. If you want if you want gifts, just date you, me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> same, same. I love yeah. like literally I went to the Swedish candy store yeah. and I you have to get your boyfriend a bag. Uh, like I mean I still like I kept messing that up on tour. I was like, oh I'm just gonna bring uh, Okay. And then I was like, you can't do that. Like yeah literally well, didn't you didn't you order something? Oh yeah I did. <sighs> So it was his graduation and I had already ordered something before I left and it was delivered to his house after we were broken up. Yeah, that was sad. Wasn't it personalized too? Yeah. So Louis Vuitton wallet with his like initials in it. Yeah. So see if you want to see it. And she messages him and she's like, well, you know, I, I was like, I'm so this. sorry. It was already like whatever. on the way yeah. being personalized. And he for was six like, weeks. I cannot keep this. Like you need to return it. And I was like, well, it's personalized. So. It's not going anywhere, buddy. You might as well enjoy it. He was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Perfect. It's crazy. I, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe he's not using it now. That'd be weird. But maybe he is. Where would your dream date be? Dream date? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I don't, I don't even know. Take me on a vacation. <laughs> just yeah. kidding. Honestly, vacation. I'm so chill. Like, you could literally pick me up in and out Actually, i just now eating in and out because I used to not be able to eat red meat, but that's the new fresh and just sit in the car and chat right. for hours i just genuinely want to talk and hang out we could go to the beach just hanging yeah, out just hang me. out like honestly really just, just a ask to hang out and i'll probably go i'll probably cry because it's so cute just she's ask. nodding her head back there just ask you know I, I agree i also like i like concerts which is random for a date though kind, like... well i mean i'm like three years two years in now okay at this yeah point. for so, you yes not so as a like, first time date but absolutely yeah you know what i think is really cute what is when you go to the like drive-in movie and like you put that's their so thing in the trunk and you have yeah. snacks like no that's cute kate has like the i trunk. know i've seen you do it so it's <laughs> not nah, sad but okay whatever <laughs> sappy moment uh, we have like a comforter everything yeah see that's so weird you're going on two years it's already two years oh you passed two, two years. years in a month see i made it th like almost three and a half years oh, right yeah uh maybe three years well three and then two <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Or not two. A well, little less than two. Yeah. We didn't quite make it to the second year. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here it's we okay. are. We're thriving. It's fine. I We're feel, thriving. I, we are. What do you mean we're? You're. <laughs> I'm thriving. Sorry. Well, you're thriving too oh, oh, in your relationship. Oh, I thought you were talking about like you guys are thriving. I'm oh, like, no. No, no. You and I. Yes. Thriving. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. Next. Oh, shoot. How do you get a guy to get you flowers? I want my man to want to get me flowers. Oh, shoot. See, <laughs> all right. My first boyfriend, king of giving me flowers. Literally, I've never <laughs> seen anything like this. I never had to ask, and mm -hmm. it was just always there. And I was like, wow, this is unbelievable. Like, I felt like literally like a princess in that relationship. I was like, you do everything for me. Like, really? Okay. Literally every flower, anything. So I just think if they wanted to, they would. Yeah. And my second boyfriend didn't go with that. He was like, no, like, some guys don't know. Like, you need to... Tell them what you need and things yeah. you want. And I also get that. I get both. But if you just want your boyfriend to give you flowers, like I don't I don't know. I think it's like the <laughs> ring thing, you know, like you post like your Pinterest board about like what ring you want. Maybe just like start posting flowers or something. Give yeah. hints. Yeah. You give hints. Drop hints. Yeah, but don't drop tell hints, them. Don't but don't tell them, them, hey, I want flowers. Cause then they'll probably bring you flowers and then you're depressed because you're like, dude, you just brought you me flowers, flowers because I, I said. You. And that's yeah. what I hate too. 
or repost something on TikTok because then you're not posting it. Yeah, repost it. Still a repost. The, what what do they call it? The the silent repost. Also, I did not know on TikTok that your repost like everyone sees that. <laughs> Why am I <laughs> so uncultured? Reposting? Yeah, one of my friends was like, Auto. I think you should stop posting all the reposts that you do. Oh, and I, I was like, What do you everything. mean? He's like, Uh, everything I see. I was like, Okay. Cool, great, Un- undid everything. I was like, this is mortifying. <laughs> I've never had someone say that to me. But it was a well, great Your exes were probably stalking that. Maybe, but whatever, who cares? Oh my gosh. Period. I don't know. Thinking like, that you're like dropping them hints. No, that, yeah. see that? See, Ooh. and that's what obviously I was doing wrong. Because I was like <laughs> doing that. Or honestly, my whole thing is just like children and weddings oh, and you rings. Are honestly, I'm hoop. just looking for a husband. I don't even want a boyfriend anymore. Period. I just want a husband and Get a child. Get husband. <laughs> Okay, okay. We're getting really carried away. I really, Start really s- like this podcast. Speed up with the I, questions, I think... please. Last question. Okay. He is really sweet, but he follows a lot of thirst trap girls. How can I avoid it hitting my confidence? Uh, I'm like the worst person to ask Same. that question. Like, like, I don't know because I'm not one of those weird, crazy stalker girls that like go through your following. So if you are doing that, I wouldn't know. First of all, like uh, that's a red flag of mine. Like I just don't really pay attention. You know what would be really bad though? So I see like so many things of what my boyfriend's liking on Instagram because Uh-oh. I don't know. It's some, it's all my suggested posts. That's weird. But, but it's all like... Cars. Drake or a dog <laughs> or a bear or so it's perfect so it's yeah fine. yeah it's like I've never had an issue yeah with yeah it. but imagine that it is something like it is yeah. just me or you on You're right. someone's and the girl's just scrolling it says liked by see honestly I could get in trouble because I'm literally the worst are you kidding me I scroll double tap almost everything I see on my Instagram really? I don't know. It's really bad. I just like scroll and I like. So you're sc- one of those where you'll make that excuse of like, yeah, I just but- like everything. No, and that's actually but that's actually what I do. Like, it's actually really. So should bad. we trust these guys out no, there that are no, saying no, that? No, guys okay. don't trust guys. No, guys strategically <laughs> like guess, Instagram I think- posts. It's not like a. Sorry. If I was, <laughs> I'm not on the podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love <laughs> like, it. It's fine. It's fine, fine please. <laughs> but I just think, I don't. I don't know. Those things don't come up on my for you page though for it to be like weird that I'm liking. I don't know, a shirtless man's photo. I don't, I don't know how you know. avoid it hitting your confidence. Yeah. You know, I think I think just that's completely a, normal. Overall, like something about confidence, maybe just know that you're the baddie. You're the best. Yeah. You you have to believe it for other people to believe it too. And you have to love yourself for other people to love yeah. you. And so I think if you're letting those things affect you or yeah. he's doing that, he's not the one for you. If that's exactly like, what I was going to say. True. Like if you're upset that he's liking all these types of photos... Yeah someone else won't exactly they're not like that like literally no like most guys i feel like aren't actually no like that. they're not i mean at least i know yeah. confidently i can say that in my past relationships that's never yeah never. ever been an issue but you know there are some weird crazy guys out there yeah. so i don't know be careful <laughs> well wow that was really but fun. your life is great single also so there's that Thank you, Autumn, for coming oh, on thank my you podcast. so much for having me. Wait, we did the same thing. That's great. Okay. Guys, literally, we were filming this... our Get Ready With Me for Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> in, like, the same pitch, the same yep. tone, the same words, like, we're the same. Yeah, like our Get Ready With Me. That for one. Olivia Rodrigo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you this so much so for fun. coming on. Let of them course. Let them know where to find you if it's their first oh, time yeah. finding you. For sure. My Instagram's just my name, at Autumn Miller, and my TikTok is... Official, official autumn miller <laughs> almost forgot that um but I yeah that's really in your it bio on tiktok you also say official autumn miller did you realize that no what see i don't you know what i also <laughs> just found out is that my tiktok still says i'm 21 that's how much you see that i literally Wait, don't pay t- 23 <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should Perfect. update that i should after. probably update that okay so i'm gonna update that now um but that's <laughs> it <laughs> that's where to find me guys Woo. So, well thanks for watching guys make sure to add the pod to your spotify and apple playlist Can't follow wait. us on instagram and watch the video version of course on youtube if you're not already and i will see you guys next wednesday with a new episode and we have to get presley back on yeah. here i'll be back guys <laughs> you'll see me next time thanks so much for having bye. me bye bye You've been listening to the Jordan Jones Podcast. Jordan's passion is to inspire, relate, 
and give you that much needed one hour escape from life's everyday struggles. Your family, and we're so glad you're here. Make sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, find us on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram at Jordan Jones. J O R D Y N. This production is brought to you by Straw Hut Media, hosted by Jordan Jones, produced by Ryan Tillotson, edited by Daniel Ferreira, additional production help by Carolyn Mendoza, Ali Ahmed, and Samir Gonchi. Keep shining bright like the diamond you are, and see you next time on the Jordan Jones Podcast.